Hello everyone. So today tonight, uh, because uh very busy, so just got time to do the live about the chapter, uh, seven. Okay, chapter seven should be the last topic for the form five syllabus. Okay, so today I need to go through is a seven point two. Okay, seven point two is uh related with the photoelectric effects. Okay. So from here we go through to the um, full screen first. I go to change the layer. Okay. So hopefully the student, um, maybe the uh, student is watching now, or maybe uh, the next round the student can be watching it. Okay. So today I want to continue the seven point two lesson. There's a photoelectric effects. Okay. So now we go through about this one. What's the meaning for photoelectric effects? Okay, let's see the first one definitions. Okay, photoelectric the effect you can see the diagram lah. It's just like one of the light. After that, they strike to the metal. Okay, this one is a metal. After that, the electron to come out. Okay, so you see the diagram. Actually, you can explain what's a photoelectric. Okay, now we go and see the words. How to explain? Okay, now you can see a phenomenal. Okay, they're talking about the phenomenal. Okay, I go to chain about the pen first. Okay, there's a phenomenal when the metal surface, so this one should be the metal surface, that's illuminated by the beam of the light. Okay, that means the light they strike. Okay, at a certain frequency, so that means this one light got certain frequency. After that, the electron can be emitted from the metal. So important is they must have the certain frequency. That means not every light ray, the electron can be come out from the matter. They must have the certain frequency. Okay, now we're going to see the demonstration to show about the photoelectric effects. Okay, so we're using is uh, one of the zinc blade. Okay, after that, uh, we got gold leaf. The whole thing we call electroscope. Okay, electroscope for the gold leaf. Okay, so they say when a piece of the negative charge, negative charge is what? There's a zinc plate. Okay, there's a place on the negatively charged electros, uh, sorry, uh, the name is uh, electroscopic, okay, electroscopic for the metal dish. So electroscopic for the gold leaf. Okay, after that, they found that the deflection, you can see the deflection of the gold leaf. Okay, this one deflections. There's a quite wider the angle is quite wider. Why? Because both also is a negative charge. So that's why they will uh, repel to the each other. Okay, they will repel to the each other. Okay, so from here, we're going to see the uh, following. We're going to explain. The size of the gold leaf will be increased. Okay, the size of the gold leaf will be increased. Okay, then we go through to the next part. Okay, so when using the ultraviolet radiations, so that means when they're just using the ultraviolet radiations, so you can find out, okay, the zinc plate is found that the deflection size of the gold leaf decreases. So that means this one gold leaf later, they will slowly to come down. Okay, slowly to come down means what? Maybe got proton, okay, maybe got proton, so it become neutralized. Or another situation is electron become less. Okay, electron become less, they also will be dropped. Okay, so now we're going to see the explanation detail. Okay, so from here you can see the diagram here. UV when starting, no UV, then got UV, finally they drop. Okay, the gold leaf become dropped. Now we see the explanations. Okay, first one, when the ultraviolet ray, okay, hit to the zinc surface, okay, this one is a UV, the heat to the uh, zinc surface, electron escape out from the zinc surface. So that means when don't, don't have any UV lamp, actually the electron cannot come out. So when it just point the UV radiation, so that means UV radiation, uh, UV the radiation, the frequency should be high. Lah. Finally, they can heat to the zinc surface until the electron can come out. 
So this one process we call what? Photoelectric effects. So from here, the negative charge on the zinc plate will be decreases. Okay, because already come out. So from here, you find the zinc, the negative charge become less. Okay, so the release of electron from the zinc surface when they're exposed to the UV light. So this one process, we call it as a photoelectric effect. Okay, so then we go to explain what means of the photoelectric effects. Okay, then we're going to see one of the demonstration to show about the photoelectric effects. Okay, you observe about the gold leaf. Okay, just now I show you the gold leaf that we up, is it? So we're going to see the observation from here. Okay, let me try to start this one video first. Huh? I go to change. Okay. So you can see when starting, uh, they got charge. So, uh, so you can see got negative charge. That means they continue to lift up because they repel. So when your hand got positive charge, they're closer, then they drop already. Okay, so this, this one is because of the uh, positive charge. Okay, now they go to test by using the, uh, this one is a visible light, normal light. Okay, nothing happened. Okay, you can see the gold leaf, the still same anchor. So this one, when they're using the blue color, this part, this one is what? Okay, you see, there's a UV light. Okay, there's a UV lamp. So you can see the gold leaf. They totally, slowly, slowly, slowly until finish. Okay, they try again. You see, when they're using the visible light, normal light, nothing happened. Okay, so this one is a what's differences. Why the visible light, nothing happened to the gold leaf? Okay, they also got um, frequency. Visible light also got frequency, but the frequency is not high enough. Okay, not high enough until the electron can come out from the zinc surface. But when you're using the UV, Okay, they're finding the electron, they get enough of the frequency. After that, they can come up from the metal surface. Okay, so this one is a one of the demonstrations. Huh? Okay, so now we go through to the uh, next part. Okay, we're going to see the photo cell in the circuit. So you can see this one is a one of the uh, uh, one of the circuit. They're going to show about the photoelectric. Okay, we're using the photo cell. Okay, now the first part, when the light-sensitive metal surface cathode is eliminated with the certain light bead. So this one should be the cathode. Okay, we label with one. This one is a light-sensitive metal. So that means uh, they must have the sensitive to the metal. We cannot simple using any metal. The surface, they must put something is a sensitive to the light. Okay, so from here, when the certain of the light, they shine straightforward, they strike to the cathode so you find the electron that will emitted okay electron emitted from the metal surface where they go so you can see the diagram all the electron they will go to find positive positive is what positive is a anode so positive is an anode so you can find the electron they go to move or they go to move to find to the anode so this one electron are called photo electron okay we got name when the electron to come up because of the light, okay, because of the light that shine, after that they got enough frequency, then they come up, we call photo electron. Okay, now we're going to see the step two. Okay, they emit the photo electron attract, attract go where? To go to the anode, which has positive potential. Because electron is a negative charge, they sure we go to find anode. Anode is a positive. Okay, then we go to the number three. Number three, the movement of the electro, photo electron from the cathode to anode produce a current inside the circuit. When the electron start to move, that means you got charge. When you got charge, okay, electron that start move is opposite direction. This one is the direction of the electron. When the electron start to move, that means the whole circuit, they got current. Okay, they got current. So this one current, we call it as a uh, photo current, photo, photo electric current. So from here, how to represent the current? We're using milliammeter. Milliammeter, they will deflect, is it? 
So when it just deflected, we know this situation, the circuit got current passed through. Okay, so this one is a one of the circuit to show the photoelectric effects. Okay, then we go to the third part. Okay, third part, we need to know the uh, structure, lah, the structure of the photo cell circuit. Okay, so from here, you can see got how many? Uh, we got five of the structure part. Okay, so the first one, you can see emission of electron from the metal surface. So this one should be the cathode. Cathode is a one, uh, one of the photocell part. After that, they can connect it to the negative. They must connect it to the negative terminal. Then after that, they produce electron, okay, from the metal surface when they just eliminated by the electron magnetic wave. Remember, the light source is a EM wave, okay, EM wave, okay. It's not simply of the light. They must have the EM wave. Okay, number two, sure, is a anode. Anode is for what? They want to collect, okay, collect all else. You can say about the receive lah. They can receive the electron beam from the cathode. Okay, number three. Number three, we're talking about the light ray. Light ray means a light source. Okay, this one light source, just now I mentioned there's an EM. So there's an electromagnetic wave with the energy. So E equal HF. What's an E? E, we normally call it as a photon energy. So this one is normally EM uh, wave. Then they got energy. This one energy we call photon energy. They will direct, direct go where? Direct go to the cathode. Straightforward, they strike to the cathode. So after that, there's a metal surface. Lah. So after that, they will produce the electron. Okay, then we go number four. Number four is a milliameter. They just want to measure. Okay, measure the photoelectric current in the circuit. Last one, they must have the vacuum tube. So that means the blue color, the whole shape, they want is a vacuum. Okay, now the question they will ask, why must be vacuum? So the vacuum is uh, to prevent, you can see, to prevent the interruption on the electron when they're just moving from the cathode to the anode. So that means they prevent surrounding with a molecule. They just want to prevent the electron to strike the A molecule. So that means they want to straightforward go to the anode. Okay. So this one's an all component about the photo cell, uh, the whole circuit. Okay. So we go to the next part. Okay. Next part, they just want to explain about the frequency. Okay. The frequency high after that. They will produce an electron. When the frequency is not enough high from the EM, they never come up. So from here, we go to explain. Photoelectric effects is the emission electron from the metal. Okay? When there's an illuminated with the light ray. Okay? They must have the rules. Must have the Ill uh, illuminated with the light ray. Okay. Another one should be when the frequency of the light beam is low okay no electron emit okay then we go another one when the frequency of the light beam is higher uh, then you can see electron they will start to come out okay now we're going to see some of the one of the short video to show about the why you say a uh, frequency is low no electron to come out then after the high frequency, they come out. What means of that? Okay, now we go and see what means of this one situations. Okay, actually it's like this. Red color. Remember the red color from the visible light? You see the electron just on the surface. Uh, when it just can become violet. This one is a violet. Uh, so the electron, the key to come out. Okay, so this one is a differences. Okay, then you can see this one, the circuit run already. The bulb can be light up. So this one meaning is what? Uh, you can think about a visible light. Lah. Okay, red color is in front. Okay, then the violet is uh, uh, at the back already. So red color, suppose the wavelength is longer. Lah. Wavelength longer, frequency smaller. So this one, red color, the frequency is low. So that's why the electron cannot come out. 
when I just adjust until the light become ultraviolet. So ultraviolet, the wavelength become shorter. So the frequency become high. Okay, when the frequency high, so the electron, they will start to escape from the metal surface. But this one, we still uh, need to depend for the type of the metal. Lah. Not every metal, they will go to UV light. Maybe some metal, green color already come out the electron. Okay, depend the matter is what uh, uh, what material. Okay, then we go to the next part. Okay, this one is a one of the experiment. They just want to show the photoelectric effects. Okay, they want to let, let you to see the what color finally the electron to come up. Okay, so we can check out what is that. Okay, this one is a one of the uh, demonstration. Okay, demonstration to show you uh, what color then you can see the electron to be emitted. Okay, now we're going to see this one should be the diagram. Okay, when you just want to write this one uh, experiment, the diagram we need to draw like this. Okay, they must have the emitter, they got voltmeter, after that we got a uh, resistor. So this one normally we call it, you can see one arrow is it. This one, one arrow plus resistor, we call it as a real step. Real step actually you want to control the voltage control the voltage for the circuit okay now we're going to see the aim okay first one we need to show about the photoelectric the effects okay apparatus apparatus we're using the photo cell okay battery real step emitter voltmeter connecting wire and monochromatic light mono remember there's a one so that means when you just start the experiment we cannot using mixed color only can start with one color because one color got one wavelength is it if you mix already that means the wavelength will be changes okay so from here the procedure the monochromatic light source is directed to the photo cell cathode it must shine straight forward to the cathode so you need to adjust adjust the real step so the voltmeter reading change up and observe the emitter pointer okay for first one they go you to adjust the voltage. Finally, you can see what's the reading for the emitter. Okay, now I want to demonstrate for this video. This one video, they just want to let you to see different of the color intensity they fix already. 95. Okay, if you cannot see, I go to zoom for you. Okay, you can see this one is a 95 already. Okay, when they're starting using red color, red color, the lambda should be 770 nanometer okay then after that the battery they never adjust anything they just let you to see until what color then after that the electron can come out then the whole circuit function when the whole circuit function means the current must be reading is it so from here this one maybe they're using certain method we don't know they're just testing on it so we go and try and see what's the effects okay they go to adjust the color so you can see when starting is a red lah. red uh, nothing happened red until orange nothing happened so they keep increasing until yellow yellow also nothing okay now you see green green go to blue uh, blue starting come out already the electrons starting to come out to the anode so i keep increasing until to the indigo to the violet uh, so you can see more and more the electron come up means what when the frequency keep increasing you can find it the electron come up fast and very fast more and more some more so you can see the current current got reading already 0 0.948 okay so i go to zoom now it's a 0 0.943 ah just now is zero is it so that means depend for the certain frequency then the matter will come out the electron. So this whole process we call what? Photoelectric effects. Okay. So now we continue to the next part. Okay. Next part, they just explain the observations. Lah. Okay. Let's see the observation. Okay. We can see at the certain voltage, the uh, value the observe that the emitter pointer show okay then explain this part they never explain the bottom because they say they're going to adjust the voltage one is it so 
That means they adjust the uh, real step until certain value, the current start to move. Okay, they got current emitter, they will deflect it. Okay, this one meaning is what? When the monochromatic light is applied to the cathode of the photo cell at a certain voltage, so that means they fix the uh, light. This one is never fixed. Huh? This one is a number two. This one is a number one. Number one, the color fix. Number two, the color never fix. So they say they're using monochromatic light applied to the cathode of the photo cell at a certain voltage. So electrons are released from the cathode towards to the anode. Okay, so you adjust until the voltage, certain voltage, the electron come already. So producing the current causing the emitter to be deflected. Okay, and this one process we call it as a photoelectric effects. So depend for your slide, you can using the first diagram. Okay, you fix the color. Okay, after that, car, the voltage you go to increase. So they mean finally, they also will come out the electron. Then after that, the emitter will be deflected. So another situation is I go to adjust, adjust the uh, color of the light. Okay, color of the light. After that, they also can produce the electron. Important, they never show any affected. They never say, oh, frequency affected, voltage affected. They never show. This one, the experiment, they just want to show photoelectric effects. Only photoelectric effect. They just want to let you to see the electron come out. Okay, only electron to come out. So this one resulting means what? The electron are named as a photoelectron. And the resulting of the color current, we call it as what? Photoelectric current. So got three things you need to know. Lah. First one, photoelectric effect. There's a process. Number two, the electron come out, we call one name photo electron okay and the third one when the electron just come out the circuit they got current this one current we call what name photo electric current okay so for the electron they just escape okay the voltage across the photo cell must exceed the activation voltage uh, another thing you need to know is now they say about the voltage now i want to let the electron to come out I must achieve certain voltage. Okay, when I just achieve the certain voltage, means the electron can be come out. So this one certain voltage we call what name? We call it as a activation voltage. Okay, activation. That means you want to activate the electron to come out. Okay, so this one is a one experiment. Okay, then we got another experiment. This one experiment, they just want to determine the Planck constant. Remember the Planck constant? Before that, we learned. I call you to memorize. There's a 6.63 times 10 power negative 34. Uh, that one is a Planck constant. So from here, this one experiment, they just want to find out is it the answer almost uh, correct or not with the Planck constant. So you can see the diagram they're using uh, LED. Okay, they're using the LED. After that, they got milliammeter, they got voltmeter. Okay, they got potential meter. Potential meter actually the one of the uh, you can say just like the power supply lah. But this one they can adjust adjust the voltage just like the real state. Real state you can adjust is it. So this one potential meter also same lah. They go to turning only. So just like the volume you turn louder, then you turn soft are uh, just like this. So from here they adjust the voltage. Okay, so this one experiment is, you can see to determine the value of the Planck constant. Okay, they're using the Planck constant kits. This one is a Planck constant kit. They're using the 9 volt battery. 1 kilovolt, okay, this one is a kilowatt, lah, 1 kilowatt potential meter. Then they're using the LED with the different color, okay, because they want to test. A red color, what happened? Blue color, what happened? Green color, what happened? Because they want to find different activation voltage. Is it every color is a different? So they need to find out. Okay, so from here, the procedure. First one, they're using the red LED connected to the blank constant case, just like this one, red LED. Adjust the node. 
So this one you need to adjust. First one, you put LED. Number two, you go to adjust. You go to turn it. Okay, after that, you obtain the voltage becomes 0 0.2. Okay, now you go to record. What's the reading for the ammeter? Okay, so you continue. Lah. You continue to adjust. Repeat the voltage. Maybe 0 0.2, no reading. Then you continue to be increasing. Increasing, increasing until 3 volt. Uh, then we stop. So that means every reading you need to jump down. Okay, then we go to the next part. So this one is uh, exactly how we go to set up the uh, apparatus. You can see this one is a vo uh, this one is a uh, voltage. This one is a emitter one. This one is a voltmeter lah. This one should be the emitter. So this one is normally we call it as a multimeter. They can use as a volt. They can using to uh, measure the current also can. So this one is a multi yeah. So from here, they're using four different LED. You got red, blue, green, and also yellow. Okay, this one is your potential meter. So just now I told you they can turn in, then adjust the voltage. Okay, so from here, procedure later. This one three and four later, I go to explain. Because you need to plot the graph, is it? So important is how to start this experiment. Okay, you can refer here. I prepared the table already because i start from 1.5 work okay later i need to change like 1.5 1.6 1.7 1.8 i need to change okay then the lambda for different led color we set already because they already know different color different lambda so from here every reading they go to test what is uh the emitter reading later you get it so from here we go and see yeah Okay, this one is the first one. Okay, first one of the testing. Okay, we're going to see what we can get it. Lah. Okay, so just like this. Uh, they go to turn the potential meter. So you can see this one is a voltage. Uh, they turn 1.5. They want to adjust until 1.5 when they're using this as a red one. Because red one is long already. So they take the LED red color. Then they go to adjust. So when they adjust 1.5, you see emitter, nothing. Milli emitter, nothing to show. So you still drop down on zero. Okay. So we continue 1.6. Okay. Then they continue 1.6. So from here, they start with 1.6. Uh, this one later, uh, we start 1.6 first. Okay. They go to adjust. Make it until 1.6. We see what happened. Uh, around 1.6 ready. You can see emitter here. Okay. I go to zoom. Uh, you can see the emitter here already got 0 0.01. Means the circuit they start. Okay, you can see the LED a little bit. Lah. A little bit the light you can see, but not full. Okay, L maybe later they adjust the voltmeter. You can see more clear about the LED. Okay, so from here they continue. After 1.6, they continue. Okay, they continue to increasing. 1.7, ah, so you can see the LED light already. 1.8, 1.9, ah, 2, then after that continue, 2.1, ah, until we set 3, is it? Ah, so until 3, then you stop. Okay, so this one is the, uh, what we do about the uh, LED we want to test. Okay, so from here we change. Now we need to repeat, we change color. Okay, we change the blue color. Okay, we go to the next one. Okay, step one, step two, step three. Then we continue with the blue color. We see what happened for the blue color. Okay, this one already is a fast forward. Lah. They adjust until 2.3 already. So that means until 2.3, then the emitter got ready. Before that is nothing. Lah. So from here, they go to show. Okay, 2.3. Uh, then 2.4, you can see the blue light. Okay, 2.5, 2.6, uh, continuous, 2.7, uh, 2.8, uh, very bright already, the LED. Okay, so after that, we continue with the green color. A uh, green color also same. Uh. Okay, green color, they start with the 2.2. Uh, so you can see 2.2, okay, got reading for emitter. Then they continue 2.3, uh, this one become 1.6. Uh, 2.5 already. 
so 3.4 so 2.6 uh, so you can see the green led already light up okay so they continue the reading uh, continue to adjust the potential meter so the last one is the orange color okay we go to test 1.8 already got readings so you got orange color led light up so two are already bright enough because the orange is in front is it the green color is a bad one recall back for your visible light so that means red color they must take longer time they must take high voltage okay then after that that can be light up so you can see the green color maybe a little bit voltage uh then after that the current already provided so it depends for the wave flag okay now we see the conclusion after we show all the reading eh? okay the conclusion like this okay so from here the starting 1.5 then nothing ah then 1.6 already got readings okay you see blue color blue color need to wait until 2.4 okay so that means the lambda is longer so the m meter is become uh no we can mention about the volt meter volt meter smaller then after that the circuit can be run so that means the electron come out lah. so the circuit can be run okay another one when i said using the uh, blue color blue color the lambda become shorter is it okay lambda become shorter you see the voltage you need to adjust until 2.8 then become 5.6 okay actually this one 2.8 5.6 actually is what later we need to plot the graph okay later plot the graph then you know already what is that okay then after that this one is a green color then this one is a orange color so the orange and the uh, red color is in front one so you can see the volt meter very small only the volt meter very small after that they got m meter readings okay now conclusion i need to plot the graph okay the graph is what current against voltage okay current against the voltage you need to plot okay so from here we got red led then we got blue led just now is it so i'm going to plot the graph okay the graph is a current versus voltage so when starting is a zero 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 is it so i put zero zero after that they're up ready okay they will up so blue also same but they take longer time become zero baru they up okay now you need to draw one of the straight line okay one of the straight line for the just like you want to draw the gradient lah. one of the straight line you're touching the point then you straight line to come down so just let you to cross about x intercept okay remember this one is a y intercept okay this part is a y intercept because this one is a y axis this one is a x y so when you're touching about the this part uh, this one the line you're touching uh, so this one we call y intercept so when you're touching about the x one this one we call x intercept lah. okay so important now they want to touching about the uh, x intercept x actually is what there's a v okay so we call it as a v intercept lah, because you want to cut it okay now continue so important they touching there's a two this one when they're touching there's a 2.5 okay so now we continue with the green color and orange color just now okay the thing is the same we go to draw after that you can find it this one for the green color okay in front a bit 2.5 then this one is exactly two for the orange color okay actually this one is what okay we go to draw the line after that they cross about the uh, what the x intersect actually is what okay we're going to see explanations ah huh? okay the graph just now like this lah okay they go and cut okay cut about the y the v intercept then after that we got i okay this one is stand for activation voltage just now you touch the point at the y in the at the x intercept actually there's a activation voltage so that means there's a voltage okay to let the electron to come out so we call activation voltage okay although just now you see 1.6 already come out ma, then we can say the one is the activation voltage uh no we take the average 
Okay, we take the average. You can see got so many reading, is it? After that, we draw one straight line to come down, is it? So that means we need to take the all the average to come down. So which one should be the point that cut with the V intercept? Okay, so this one we call V intercept. So when it just cut, so we take it. This one is a activation voltage. So this one graph must be I against the V. So when it just touching to the uh, the X axis, that one we call activation voltage. Okay. So another situation is after I get the activation voltage, then I need to plot the graph. This one graph is what V A versus 1 over lambda. Okay, when I just plot this one graph, then they find it the gradient equal HC over E. Why the gradient become HC over E? Okay, if follow this one diagram, what's your gradient? Your gradient should be VA multiply lambda. Yes or no? Because 1 over lambda. Ma. So your gradient should be M equal VA over 1 over lambda is it so i make it become easier m equal va multiply with lambda uh, this one should be the gradient yes or no okay but they say gradient is a h c over e uh, now we need to prove why you say the gradient become like this okay then we go to the next page to prove it okay now remember energy of electron and also photon electron. Okay, energy of electron means we're talking electron go there, they're using how many potential difference. So that one we call energy electron. So the formula should be EV. EV. EV is the energy of the electron. This one V not velocity. Eh? This one V is a potential difference. Okay, then the photon energy, everybody know. Actually, there's an E equal HF. Uh, this one is a photon energy. The F, sometimes we're using E equal H. Then after that, C over lambda. Uh, so that's why we change become C over lambda now. Okay? So now EV equal H C over lambda. So from here, we can just arrange the V alone. Okay, I want to make the V alone. So become HC over E lambda. Okay, so from here we go and see the uh, equations. Okay, V equal HC over E. Multiply 1 over lambda. I bring the lambda up. Actually, it's the same thing. I just take the lambda up on it. Okay, then after that we're using the original formula what we learned from the graph y equal mx uh, actually got c la. mx plus c is it because later they will cut about y intercept but this one we just ignore la. we don't want to see what is that important we want to focus about the uh the gradient so from here you can see v and y is the same pattern okay this one and also the v is the same pattern Okay, after that, you can see gradient. Okay, the gradient here is a HC over E. X is what? X is a Y axis. So this one, X axis is 1 over lambda. So this one is a X axis. So we can say gradient from this one graph is a HC over E. Okay, so from here, the conclusion is gradient is equal M equal HC over E. Okay, when I just draw the graph, activation voltage against 1 over lambda. Okay, so now they explain for you. What's an E? E is a charge. Okay, I'm going to clear this one. Maybe you cannot see. Okay, so from here you can see uh, E is a charge of the electron. Okay, normally it's this one. Uh, 1 1.6 power negative 19. Then the speed of the light in the vacuum, uh, everybody know, 3 times 10 power of 8. Okay, so after that, we can make a conclusion. Okay, from here, I want to take out the H. Remember the H is what? H is a Planck constant. Okay, Planck constant. So I bring the H out, 
That's a M E over C. Okay, so from here, the mass, you must depend the situation what mass you're using. Okay, number two, E. E, we just copy from here. Then the C. Ah, sorry, a mass not, sorry, the M not mass. Ah, the Lilu already. Mass, this one M not mass. Ah. This one M is what gradient. Forget already. Okay, this one is from here. Okay, they get from here is it H. So from here, this one, the M is a gradient. So just now you do the calculation, you put the graph ready, you get the gradient first. Huh? After put the gradient, then you multiply the E, then you over the C. Okay, so that means from this one situation, we do know the H. You just assume you do know the H. Okay, finally you find the H. This one H is what? There's a blank constant. So normally your answer is get it, there's a 6.6. Okay, multiply power of negative 34. Okay, maybe you get more a little bit or small a little bit. Lah. Okay, so this one is uh, how they go to prove the uh, Planck constant experiment. Okay, so the last part should be the characteristic for the photoelectric effects. Okay, we see what's the characteristic for this one, uh, photoelectric effects. Uh. Okay, first one, they say photoelectric radiation rate does not depends on the intensity of the light. They don't care. Okay, you are strong, your high temperature, low temperature, they never care about that. Okay, what they want to important to make it become faster, they depend on the frequency of the light. Uh, this one is off, uh, uh, frequency of the light beam. So just now I show you already. So when they're using UV light, uh, the electron come out already. So that means they depend for the frequency. Okay, number two, when the photoelectron radiation rate just increasing, so that means the current increase. Lah. So this one should be understood. When the electron they come out more, that means the whole circuit, the current should be increasing. Okay, then we go to number two, the, uh, the characteristic. Okay, number two, the characteristic is uh, uh, the assistance of the threshold frequency. Okay, just now I mentioned so many times. Uh, the frequency must be high enough then the electron to come out is it this one frequency we got special name the name we call it as a trash treasures hold frequency okay we can call threshold frequency lah. we just label there's a f o okay so that means you need the electron to come up minimum rules you must more than threshold frequency so from here they explain for you Threshold frequency means what? There's a minimum frequency, okay? Required to release the photoelectron from the metal surface. That means there's a minimum requirement frequency lah, to let the electron to come up, okay? So from here, the frequency of the threshold is depends on the type of the metal. So just now I told you different metal different frequency than needed so depends the matter okay so from here this one is a second characteristic for the photo electric okay so this one is a one of the thing you must remember lah the threshold frequency there's a meaning is what minimal frequency required to produce a photoelectric effect on the matter okay then we got number three uh, not yet then just explain threshold first ah. Uh. Okay, electron will only be admitted. So this one is a rule. Electron not simply to come out. They only can be admitted when the metal surface, if the frequency of the light is exit, uh, you must over. You must over the threshold frequency. Baru the electron can come out from the metal. Uh, if you not over the frequency, just now I showed the red color, is it? Nothing to come up means what you not over the threshold frequency of the matter. So from here, the wavelength of the wave is shorter than the threshold wavelength. They also cannot become up electron from the matter. So we got threshold frequency. You must have the threshold uh, wavelength. Lah. Normally, the frequency must be high enough. Then the electron can come up. So when the frequency just high, that means the wavelength become shorter lah so from here this is one of the example you see red color 
red color the lambda is 700 okay but the electron never come up because the frequency not yet achieved threshold frequency okay now you can see this part the green color the wavelength becomes shorter okay then after that the ev is high enough electron potential energy after that they produce the electron to come out we got v max uh, v max later we need to learn for 7.3 this one's a maximum velocity the electron emitted from the metal so you can see when i just increasing the frequency somewhat i using violet ultraviolet purple color you see the wavelength become shorter 400 nanometer okay so from here you can see the v max increase somewhat that means they will go uh, faster go to the anode okay okay so that means this is a of to explain for you threshold frequency must be achieved okay then the photo electron this one is the energy for the photon so they must depends okay photon the energy increasing so you can see the v also increase now so this one is another situation we need to explain related photon energy and also maximum velocity. Now this one is the next round. But now we're talking about threshold frequency first. So you can see different color, red color, green color, and also the blue. A different quantity of the electron to come out. Okay, demonstration. This one is a, a below the threshold. You see below threshold, nothing happened. Uh, so this one, when it's just above the threshold, you can see the electron come up. So important is the threshold frequency of the matter. Okay, they need how many? Okay, then we go to number three, characteristic. The maximum kinetic energy of the electron release. Ah, then it, just now I show you the V max, is it? The V max must depend for the frequency of the light. Okay, depend the frequency of the light. Okay. Then they say does not depend on the light intensity. What's the light intensity? That's a, a temperature. Okay, they don't care about your temperature high or low. Okay, important is the frequency. Threshold frequency is how many? After that, they can make the kinetic energy higher for the electron. So the electron can go further. Lah. So that's why we call uh, Vmax. They can label Vmax is it maximum velocity. Okay, and the last one should be the Photo electron are emitted instantan uh, this one to pronounce uh, instantaneously. That means immediately lah. Okay, when the metal surface just eliminated with the light. Okay, so this is what's the difference you can see here. I can show you two diagram. First one, remember the thermionic emission. Thermionic emission is an electron to come up when the metal just hit it. Okay, this one different. They say the emission of the electron from the metal surface by thermionic emission, they take some time. So that means they need to wait. Wait the heat absorbed by the metal. After the heat up, Baru can come out the electron. Okay, but this one, photo electron, different. Photo electron is emission electron also. From the metal also, by the photo electric, Okay, instantaneously means immediately. So they never, no need to wait, uh, wait to absorb the heat. No need. When the threshold frequency just enough, they just dry, then they come up. Uh, so this one is a differences. The muonic emission, this one is a classical theory. Okay, for this one, photoelectric, this one is a modern physics. So they mean everything also fast. They no need to wait. Okay, this one is a four of the characteristic. For the photoelectric okay remind you again the first one depend for the frequency no intensity okay number two is talking about the threshold uh, threshold frequency okay you must over the threshold frequency okay number three they're talking about the kinetic energy okay it depends on the frequency and does not intensity of the light and the last one the photoelectric will come out as soon as possible very fast one immediately to come out when the light just illuminate today. Okay, so this one is a four characteristic for the photoelectric effects. Okay, so our lesson just until this part. Okay, just a simple for the photoelectric effects. So hopefully you understand about this one and also you know what means of the photoelectric the process.
Okay, just now I show you two experiments, is it? So you can see what is that and also characteristic. Okay, so our lesson just undo this part. So for the student, you are on the line now, that means you can watch it. For the student, maybe you're not here, that means uh, you can recall back to see photoelectric actually is what. Okay, just thank you everyone uh, for today. Still not already, already 11.30, uh, okay? So I just say good night to everyone. Okay, bye. <music>